What's happening, everybody? Oh, yeah, it's running. Oh, it's running. What's happening, everybody? <clears throat> it is I, the bearded one, back with you. It's really me. Um, been gone for a while. Ooh, knocking things off my desk because I have too much on my desk. Been gone for a while. I've had some things in life going on. Work stuff, business stuff. Personal stuff. But, <clears throat> I'm back. And, uh, you can tell I'm in a new location, a new surroundings. I'm in an undisclosed location. But you're going to find out where I'm at later in this video. Um, I've been taking some time off from YouTube to find out what I want to do with this channel. Um, I've done pranks, I've done all kinds of vlogs, I've done, I've done all kinds of things. I've done challenges, which we're going to do more challenges because I really enjoy doing, enjoy doing challenges. But I don't know, um, man, I've just, it's, it's been hard going about it. Um, but here's the thing. I've taken time away. I've thought about it, I've had some fun, I've done some things, and now, we know what we're going to do. I don't know, I've said this in the past, that we're going to do some crazy wild stuff on this channel, we're going to have a lot of fun, and, and then I disappear for months at a time, um, <coughs> usually, excuse me, let me grab some water, usually, um, yeah, I disappear for months at a time. Let me get to break. That's a uh, piece of film equipment that I need. Um, and I just, I'm kind of done with that. I've done so much taking a break um, after every little bit with YouTube that, uh, I don't know, I hear a lot about it online. You guys say a lot of things, a lot of stuff that's not very pleasant. To my ears or to my eyes as I have to read, but we're back. And this time we're back. This time's gonna be a little different. Um, I'm probably not gonna do as many home vlogs as you would like, or um, you know, I'm not gonna. Crazy Dad is not here with me where I'm at now, which hurts a little bit, but. Um, You'll see him later on on the channel when I go uh, back home to visit and things like that because I didn't move a uh, considerable distance away from um, my family. And to be honest, I haven't really had much going on that I just wanted to include on camera. And um, I didn't want to put on a smile for everybody and act like everything was all, you know, Lemon, <laughs> lemon drops and gum drops, you know. So, um, I've had to take time off. Taking time away from almost everything these days. Uh, comedy is still a big, big part of my life. Stand up is still a huge part of my life. A huge chunk of it, anyway. And I still love it. Um, where I'm at now, there's not a whole lot of places that, that have stand-up. So, if I can get into some places and do stand-up, I will be 100% filming that. But, we've got some new things going on. Like, you're going to see me doing reviews, right? Like, this is going to become not a review channel, but I just bought a brand new gaming chair. You'll see a review on that chair. I just bought a brand new keyboard, mouse, and headset off of Amazon. You'll see reviews on it. I just bought a brand new printer. Reviews on most of the stuff that I that I bought recently. Um, I just don't want you to think I'm out here just spending money, just spending money. Um, the bearded one, as I have come to be known by some of you hardcores out there, some of the most hardcore fans and followers that I have that I love to death, and I'm so sorry that I went away for a while. I didn't go fully away. I was still active on, on, on social media. Just I just kind of left YouTube hanging there for a while. 
But the bearded one is here. The bearded one is back. I don't know if you can see that on my hat, but yes, the bearded one is home. Is here, and um, YouTube is where everything started for me. Uh, I started my my climb, I guess you could call it, up this uh, this mountain um, three four years ago, and it's been hard. It's been a rough climb, but now we're here. And now it's time to maintain and do what I do best, and that is to entertain you. And you deserve to be entertained. And um, uh, some of the some of the things that I've seen online are just, especially about me personally, on Twitter and my Instagram. I just man, it hurts to hear, but it's true. It's true. I, I pretty much abandoned YouTube there for a while, and it, and it hurts. Um, I have my reasons for the things that I've done. Um, not going to justify that to anybody, but I'm back. So, with that being said, I'm going to edit this new video that I just shot, and I'm going to upload it with this clip right here. So, you guys, get ready, because for the first time ever, I'm going to review a restaurant on their food. Listen, I ain't going to give nothing away. Watch this video. And if you find this place, come to it and eat there. Okay? And try for yourself and see if you agree with what I have to say about it. Okay? Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, you guys are amazing. And I'm signing off. I'll see you. Yo, what's happening, everybody? What's up, people? We're just sitting in the car, waiting on Josh. That's right, Josh, you heard me right. We're about to go uh, grab some grub and do a little flu food vlog. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I got it. Would you? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Got it covered. This dude. What's up? Josh. I like Alright, cool. What's up, buddy? Alright. So we're going to go grab some food. Do a little food review on this restaurant. And, uh, we'll see you there. You know what I mean, Josh? You can do that? Alright, we're at El Canaveral in Stuttgart, Arkansas. Um, we're actually in Josh's hometown. Josh is going to put you on camera so don't eat nothing. We're in Josh's hometown, El Canaveral. We're going to get some Mexican food, traditional Mexican food. This is salsa, which is fire. I've already ate some of it. So good. Somebody was calling me, sorry. I'd shut that off. Um salsa's fire. This this is Mexican punch out of El Canaveral. Better than any other that I've had. Because you can get it at places like um Mexico Chiquito and stuff like that. It's not as good. It's just not as good. This is fire. Sauce is good. Food's coming soon. It's going to be a total food vlog. What do you think about it, Josh? Good? Fire? Very fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely not a chain. So it's like, it's always on point. Anyway. I'm going to eat some more chips and salsa, and then when food gets here, I'll pick this back up. So the food's here, and uh, I'm going to give you a shot of everything we got. We've got a pretty full table. But there's my chimichanga and Mexican rice and beans and... What is this? 
What is it? Guacamole salad. Okay. Then I got some tacos. And Josh got the same thing I did, I think. And then Lauren's got some chips. Lauren's got something over there. She got, she got tacos. So, that's the food. I'm fixing to kill it. And then I'll come back and we'll tell you how good it was. Josh is ready to kill it fork in hand. <laughs> Alright, we'll get back to you. I didn't get a red light, that's why I didn't ask. Alright, sorry. <laughs> anyway, Josh says the last two bites of this Jimmy Chonga are the best two bites. Zip, right here. Right here. He says that right there is the best part of this. Now I gotta say, I've almost eaten this whole thing. And I've eaten two tacos already. And I gotta say, I can't find a thing wrong. I am looking to find something wrong with this meal. I can find absolutely nothing wrong with this. So, I'm excited to see what these last two bites are like. He says they're supposed to be the best two bites. So, let's find out. I'm going to cut that in half. Right there, like that. Get it up here. Right. There we go. Salute. Yeah. Hold on. It's really good. Let me get it all down. Just bear with me. Okay. That fold right here, I'm not even sure. That fold right there, that is legit the best part of this whole thing. Like, it's like crunchy and soft at the same time. And it's packed full of like, you get a lot of the cheese sauce that's soaked up from the bottom. And by far the best. The best. So, yeah, that's fire. That, there's nothing I can find wrong with this meal. The meat is so like juicy, but not greasy at all. Like, I don't know how they cook it. But it's not like greasy, like, look, let me show you. It's all in this taco, right? Normally a regular taco would be like soggy. This is as, as crunchy, it's been sitting out here for like five minutes. Crunchy as I'll get out. Uh, there's nothing bad I can say about it. Huh? Do what? Yeah, well, you, you, you eat like an animal. Um, nothing I can say bad about this meal. Ever, the beans were, like, not dry, where you usually get dry beans most places. Everything was fresh. I, I, there's nothing bad about this. I highly recommend this place. Highly recommend it. If not for anything else, the fact they had their name carved into the booth. That, uh, it, it's, you can't top it. You can't top it. Everything was good. The Mexican punch, amazing. Bring your family, bring your kids, bring your friends. Tell somebody you can't beat this place. That's really all I got for you. I'm fixing to kill the rest of this meal, and I'm gonna have to get a wheelbarrow to carry my stomach out of here. But it's so good. I'll see you later. The bearded one is signing off. I will see you. All right. Food's here. Try this first bite of this chimichanga. Forgive me, I already had a bite of the uh, guacamole salad and the beans and the rice. But now I'm fixing it up. I'm doing this left handed, so. Let's see. There it is. Your first bite. Let's try it out. Dude, that's fire. That's really good. Yes, it is. That's super good. It's like topped with like cheese sauce, and then uh, you got the Mexican rice and the beans and the guacamole salad. It's so good, so good. I'm fixing to kill this plate, but first I'm gonna try one of these tacos because if I don't, they'll be mad at me, and I know it. I'll hear all about it. Here we go.
good. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of this place. Definitely. If you're ever in town, you need to come here. Stuttgart, Arkansas, you need to go to El Canaveral. Hands down, you can't compare this to any other, like, Mexican food chain. Like, this is not a chain. So, you got to come try it. Thank you. Right on. So, I'm going to eat this food, and then we'll, uh, we'll come back.